When climbers ascend into extreme altitudes, their lungs are at risk. The low oxygen levels make it hard for the lungs to regulate fluid and disseminate gas. A similar thing happens to people with congestive heart failure. The heart's the engine of the, the body, but the lungs really feed the fire. Alexander Kasich is part of the Mayo Clinic Mount Everest expedition team. His pre-expedition lab work focuses on what happens to the lungs in a simulated extreme altitude environment, an altitude tent. The oxygen you're breathing in there is about 12 and percent, which simulates about 15,000 feet. This tent will be home for study subject Jennifer Taylor for about 13 hours overnight. Before she gets in it, Jennifer goes through extensive testing, including a breathing test that measures condensation in her lungs. This study is focusing more on a specific channel in the lung and how it perhaps can remove fluid. And that's important for climbers and congestive heart failure patients because if the lungs don't function properly, the heart can't beat as well, the, the muscles can't work as well. The study also includes a medication to see if it helps lung function. Because it's a randomized trial, Jennifer doesn't know if she took it or a placebo. During her time in the tent, research team members monitor her blood pressure, blood oxygen levels and heart rate, and they ask questions about any high altitude symptoms she might have. Lightheadedness, headache, uh, potentially a little bit thirstier. After her night in the tent at about 15,000 feet, Jennifer goes through more tests to see how her lungs function. We're looking for you know, diminished lung capacity. We're looking for that fluid in the lungs. Kasek says if they can learn the pathways through which the lung retains and rids itself of fluid, perhaps they can develop ways to help people with heart failure and people exposed to high altitudes manage their lung function better. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.